So, before you watch this video on Newtons, you must watch the video on speed. And you know that we measure speed in meters per second. Acceleration. And the unit here is meters per second squared. The mass and weight video. And you know mass is in kilograms. And weight we measure in newtons. And today we're going to have a look at what a newton is. Let's have a little road. Here's a little road. And on the road we have a car and we need, I need my assistant Frederica and Frederica is going to push the car. Now obviously in the position now here we can say that the speed equals zero meters per second. The car itself has a mass which equals one kilogram. We're going to measure the speed here which is after one second. So the time here where the car starts and where the car finish, finishes uh, will be one second. So Frederica gives the car a good push and we measure the speed of the car and we find that now the speed is one meter per second. So what can we say? We can say that Frederica pushed the one kilogram car with enough force to accelerate the car by one meter per second in one second. And of course, as we know, this acceleration, which we use A, we can say A equals one meter per second squared. We also know that M, the mass of the car, is one kilogram. And the force needed to accelerate one kilogram by one meter per second squared, the force F is one newton. And that's how we define a newton. The newton is when we accelerate a mass of one kilogram by one meter per second squared. Let's take another example. Let's say this is the floor here. And on the floor, 
we have a box has a mass of five kilograms. We know that the acceleration due to the gravitational force is 10 meters per second. As we did before, we know that weight equals mass multiplied by gravitational force. So that would equal 5 multiplied by 10. So the weight of this, we would say, is 50 newtons. And remember, a newton is the amount of force needed to accelerate one kilogram by one meter per second squared. So that's what a newton is.